Malaysia's Home Minister says that authorities will investigate claims of police brutality during Saturday's mass street protests calling for electoral reform. Now, this will include reviewing video footage. Its comments come amid allegations that police fired tear gas into a hospital compound. A 59-year-old man died, but police say that he suffered a heart attack. The minister also says that foreign media will be taken to task for what he called sensational coverage. As the dust settles after chaos rocked the Malaysian capital on Saturday, Mr. Hishamuddin Hussein commended the police for doing a good job in controlling the situation and preventing it from getting worse. He disputed claims by rally organizers that 50,000 people had taken to the streets. Police put the figure at no more than 10,000. My concern is the security of the nation and the safety of our people. And that 10,000 people do not represent 27 million Malaysians. Mr. Hishamuddin also accused the foreign media of baseless accusations on police brutality. Riot police were condemned by rights groups for using excessive force against protesters by firing tear gas and water cannons to disperse the crowd. We have the whole footage and the police are going to reveal we got nothing to hide. It was very clear that the police, in, in every sense of the word, uh, were provoked. He says legal actions will be taken against irresponsible foreign media. Some members of the media are crying foul. I think it was excellent coverage by the international media of the rally. I think it raises a lot of questions. Malaysia is a member of the Human Rights Council that has committed itself to freedom of expression, freedom of assembly. And yet, if you look at the practice on the ground, it's not the case. Now, while the Malaysian police are contemplating possible legal actions against some of the 1,600 people that were arrested on Saturday, including birthday chairman Ambiga Srinivasan, they claim that all the detainees were treated well. They were offered food, buffet style, at eight US dollars per head, which includes nasi biryani, fried noodles, and drinks. Now, meanwhile, the opposition, which is capitalizing on the negative publicity against the BN let government threatens to unleash a second wave of rallies in all the opposition controlled states. Melissa Go, Channel News Asia, Bukit Aman, Kuala Lumpur.